our next melody is called Compound Meter Minor Key. This is melody number three. And once the YouTube clutter has cleared, you'll see that I have a melody already transcribed and ready to go that's in a compound meter. I chose 6, 8, and E minor. Notice raised 6 and 7, ascending from scale degree 5 to scale degree 1, and then the 7th scale degree acting as a leading tone to the tonic. I start on tonic, end on tonic, and everything is in compliance. I'm ready to do the next step here, which is to analyze all scale degrees. This is the Lyric tool on the main tool palette. The Lyric tool will allow you to ascribe a number or a, a syllable or a lyric to any of the given notes in your melody. And so what you do is you, you click that, and then you can move the group of four arrows up above the staff, which will position your lyric, or in this case the scale degree numbers, above the notes that you want to, to do this with. So here we are. Notice that the cursor is a little arrow. When I click above the note, it will give me a cursor. And using the numbers and the tab key, I can tab along and apply the numbers. And Finale will put them right above the notes where you want them. And it will sort of move the music around as necessary to keep everything spaced out. Notice here that I've encountered raised scale degree 6. I use shift and 6 to get an upward carrot. That's the symbol that I'm going to use for raised 6 and 7. When you get to the end of the line, by tabbing, Finale will put the cursor for the text tool on the next line. You can do the rest at this point. Next, I will use the text tool to provide an interval analysis of each pair of melodic intervals. So I'm going to analyze the span between scale degree 1 and 3. It happens to be a minor third. Uh-oh, it's too big. The solution is to reduce the size of the text. The text menu, size, I'm going to try 8. That's pretty small. Oh, that looks better. By using the tab key, I can move the cursor over and analyze my next pair of notes. Uh-oh, it's still too big. Solution. Fewer number of measures per line. Selection tool. Select all. Apple, A. Shift, Apple, M. Change the number in the dialog box to 2. And that moves everything such that there's two measures on a line. This gives me more room to actually provide the analysis. Now, back to, my, back to work, I can use the tab key to push my analysis over such that the interval pairs are neat. And you can kind of work quickly here because if your melody is similar to mine, because when you have replicating scale degrees, that means you have replicating intervals, and that's something you should be learning uh, from this process. Replicating numbers means replicating intervals. Replicating num numeric pairs of scale degrees mean replicating intervals. Sometimes you have to use the space bar to move things around, but that's okay. You want to make it look presentable so that it's easy to read and so forth. In this case I have a major second and don't forget to analyze the interval at the end of the line that spans between the last note of the first line and the first note of the second line. That's an interval too, so don't forget it. Using the text tool, I'm going to do each line separately. Which means you have to change the font 
size each time you want to do that. Now you can set the document up using character settings to change the font for the whole thing. Um, but if you can figure that out, that's great. Otherwise, it's pretty quick just to change each of the four lines to accommodate the smaller font. Well, I suppose I'm ready for articulation. Maybe you want to complete your articulations and everything when before you actually do your interval analysis. That can be helpful. But if you find that you have to move your dynamics or move your uh, scale degree number analysis, you can easily do that using the Lyric tool. I can get the numbers really close if I want to. And that could help when things are getting very dense. Sometimes we have a lot of analysis on the same page. You can also use the page layout tool to spread out your systems of music so that you have more room to work. Notice here that I have a lot of space now. That can be helpful going forward as we have to put more and more information onto a document. If you're ready to do your own, at this point let's listen to my melody. It's quite a romp. I hope you enjoy composing melody number three, compound meter minor key.